2021 Audi RS6 Avant Review, everything you expected. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The first properly fast car I ever drove was a 2007 Audi RS4. It was Imola yellow and had one of the best engines of the past 30 years, Audi's 4.2 liter V8. That screamer of a power plant revved to 8,000 revolutions per minute and worked alongside a six-speed manual transmission with a big, fat knob on the top of it. The pairing was a delight, packaged in a gorgeous sedan body with wildly flared wheel arches. I spent a lot of time thinking about that car in that first drive during a week with a 2021 Audi RS6 Avant, a dynamically marvelous wagon that should be as exciting now as that RS4 was to me at 25. But it isn't. Audi's latest RS car is an incredibly fast, powerful, attractive, and luxurious thing, but there's a standoffishness that makes it hard to love. Too often, it felt like I was just along for the ride, rather than an integral part of affairs. It's a hell of a ride, to be sure, but when it comes to Audi's RS line, you want to be in the thick of things. I never felt that. With respect to the Mercedes AMG E63 and the Porsche Panamera Turbo S Sport Turismo, the Audi RS6 Avant is the most attractive car in the segment. Perfectly proportioned and with flourishes in all the right places, it should be exhibit A when explaining to a non-car person why wagons are cool. This car exudes menace, with its low and aggressive fascia and angry headlights surrounding a wide, gaping grille. The hood is muscular when viewed from head-on, and the swollen wheel arches are as purposeful as they are oversized. The profile is lovely, and it's hard to get over how well the long roof body and the laser straight belt line play together with the former cutting ever so gently down into an incredibly fast D pillar at the back of the car. Again, the wheel arches highlight the view from the profile, although our tester's massive 22-inch alloys are plenty shouty too. The rear of the RS6 is a study in why wider is better, ISTR. IP of gloss black trim joins the taillights and accentuates the already thick back end, while the RS line's traditional oval exhausts jut out from a low rear bumper. The cabin sports some RS6-specific enhancements, but far more than the exterior, it mimics the standard A6. Twin touchscreens occupy the center stack, and a 12.3-inch display takes the place of traditional gauges. Swaths of matte carbon fiber trim on the dash and doors play well with all the aluminum brightwork, and there are some lovely effects from the ambient lights at night. But even with carbon fiber and an RS steering wheel, shifter, and seats, this is still an A6's cabin, very good, but also familiar and not quite as special as the six-figure price demands. Massive 22-inch wheels riding on 30-series winter tires should not a comfortable ride make, and yet somehow the RS6 is incredibly plush. The ride quality is astonishing, soaking up all that Detroit's apocalyptic roads can throw at it and asking for more. Ride stability is high too, allowing the RS6 to bound across imperfections without transmitting any ugliness to the steering.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.